Hey folks, uh, Pat Dees. I decided on the way home actually from a doctor's appointment to stop at the Salvation Army. Wanted to uh, see if I could find any deals. It was rainy, it's snow, it's cold. And guess what? When I came into here, uh, it's not as busy. And uh, I spent $100, 101.16 on stuff. And I was going to, there's no table here where I can take it out. So what I'm going to do is um, when I get home, because it is rainy, uh, or to a place that I can under undercover. See if I can. Uh, I'll show you guys what I got. And uh, I got a, actually, I got a lot of stuff. So uh, see if I can make some money still from thrifting. And um, so we'll, the next footage you'll see is we'll go over and uh, we'll we'll show you what I got. Okay, folks, I am back at home. It is 9 o'clock at night. So I got home. Uh, I checked my eBay orders. I checked my Amazon orders. Even sometimes I'm getting whatnot orders, even when I don't have a show, because I keep stuff in the buy it now, and it goes up on, I guess, their marketplace. So uh, what a what a wet mess, though. And in case you guys are wondering behind me, I, yeah, I still have my Christmas decorations up. It's still early. It's still January. I mean, I keep my tree up year-round. The only difference is we put it in the corner, unplugged the lights last year just to make it easier. But I uh, haven't gotten around that. I've been using it as a backdrop a lot of times for my uh, whatnot shows. But when I went to the Salvage Army today, I drove by. There wasn't many cars there because the weather was crappy. So sometimes I've noticed when the weather's crappy, there's less people and less employees show up. So, and I saw four racks that weren't picked through yet that were ready to be put out. Um, and just weren't put out yet. Now, the only thing I don't like about Salvation Army is their prices are all over the board. And what do I mean by that? Uh, if you go to the Goodwill and it's $4.99 for pants, all pants are $4.99. New, used, whatever. They're $4.99. What I find at the Salvation Army, they could be $4.99, $5.99, $8.99. So, so someone told me they have like a chart in the back to kind of how to price things. So... Salvation Army knows how to maximize sometimes their dollars, but it gets to the point sometimes where some of the prices you could... perfect example is don't buy... Why would you pay $7.99 for a George uh, golf shirt that is a Walmart brand when a lot of times you can get it for $9.99 brand new at Walmart? You know what I mean? So that's not a good re reselling opportunity. That, if you're an end buyer and like the design, then you're, then you're going to get that. So, you know... As I've been growing the channel lately and doing more videos, it said people are still searching on YouTube for uh, thrifting, uh, uh, thrifting uh, videos. Sorry, I had a message come across the screen at the same time, so I'm not sure if that shows up in the sound effects or not. But that's what that was. Someone sent me a message uh, through Instagram. When when um, as I'm making my videos and it, it you, YouTube is kind of suggesting. Like, oh, keep doing this one or keep doing so. And they'll say, uh, you know, in the, in the search that uh, similar to my channel, people are thrift store fine. So they're watching them. Um, I haven't had much luck sometimes in the before doing Goodwill or Salvation Army or thrift store videos. But people are so for some reason they haven't seen maybe me to, to know that I do that, too, because I, I source from all kinds. So what I did and it reminded me um and I'm a big fan of tech and sports, and I I like selling clothes. Clothes are a pain in one sense, taking the pictures, the measurements, and stuff like that. But once that's over, the best thing about clothes is the shipping. You just fold it up, you put it in a bag, you throw your business card in there, and boom, it, it it's predictable. It doesn't break, and and uh, it doesn't take up a lot. It, it doesn't take a long time to package, and. and you could have one package, like I sell uh, new Levi jeans. When I sell those Levi jeans or brand new with tags, it's something like 30 seconds. Boom, throw it, two pairs, throw them in a box, fold the label, or, you know, done. You know, not with uh, other things sometimes. So let me show you what I got. And very seldom do I look things up. I will sometimes if something really stands out and the price is more than I want to kind of pay. 
And then I think, well, am I missing out on something? So I'm going to uh, explain each buy and, and what I think it will sell for. And then up in the corner here, I'll put what I paid and I'll put an eBay comp. Uh, comp means what it sold for, uh, you know, um, what I think I could find. Now, it's hard sometimes to find exactly, but, you know, very similar. So, all right, so let's go through it. Now, there are a couple pieces that are probably safe or whatnot. And again, I'll explain to you why. Um, there's one item here. I'm going to save that probably to the end. Um, some things I got, like, for example, um, this joint is hopping uh, Bob Barley. This is a t-shirt that is color tone. $1.99. Honestly, I, I brought I think this is a whatnot item. Oh, okay. Uh Barley Creek Brewing Company. Uh the Poconos. That's where it's from. So I, I mean I honestly think it's a, it's it, it's I probably could sell it for um eight to ten dollars on eBay, but probably have to wait. So maybe it's a whatnot item for five bucks. I'm trying to find some stuff that I can buy for two, and even if I make two or three dollars on it, just to have, you know, as part of the show and get a following that I, I do want to do some clothes shows. So here's another $1.99 uh, t-shirt. Again, again, similar situation, you know, on whatnot, it might be a $5 item on eBay, it might be an $8 item, but it's going to take time. So some of the t-shirts are meant for whatnot. And at the end of the day, I know some people say, "Oh, why would you make three dollars?" You know, hey, if you sell it in if you sell it in thirty seconds and you make three dollars and you do enough of them, it adds up. So I try to find it. This is Frontier Town, another dollar ninety nine Gildan. So this is in Ocean City, Maryland. Same same type scenario. So these, you know, a couple of these are whatnot. Um, now this one I thought was unique. I'm going to check this out on um, Amazon. Um, I was kind of. I think they might have only charged me a dollar ninety nine because the price tag had different cross outs, and uh, the color, you know, sometimes. So this is a Star Wars large Disney official um, long sleeve and door. Uh, even the guy that rung me out was like impressed by how it looked. It's a great, great graphics. The night long sleeve night light. I'm gonna put this up on eBay. See the little. Guy walking there at the end. Um, so I think I, I I think we settled on that. I paid two dollars because he couldn't. But honestly, I think it's a fifteen dollar item. It's it's very unique. I've never seen. Um, so I think I can get fifteen bucks for that. Here's another T-shirt again. Um, this is a large. I paid three ninety nine. This is a kids Ken. You know, Barbie was the top movie last year and. Even one of the top grossing all time, you know. Again, this is not a. Um, this is probably a ten dollar, eight to ten dollar item. So it's a double on my money. This is new uh, with with the with the tags two ninety nine. My hero, um, man. I just thought it st stood out. It was only two ninety nine. Again. You know, it's a, it's a it's a double or you know six to eight dollars. Not not talking a lot of money, but you know, hey, you can't walk away. Dollar ninety nine for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they actually might even make the. This is team extra large. A dollar ninety nine. Honestly, that's eight to ten dollars. So I that I think definitely sell. Now we are getting towards the end of football season, but if I don't sell it on eBay in a certain amount of time, I could bring it to whatnot in the future. This is a Caribbean tropic size medium, $1.99. Just great graphics. Uh, Puerto Rico. Again, a great shirt for, uh, I think, whatnot. And I think, really. Um, basically, I'm going to try to start my stuff on whatnot about a dollar or two over. You gotta, if I do a dollar over, I probably just break even after fee. So I try to two bucks over. And, you know, if I make a buck and get my money back. But I think it's good graphics on there. If I get more of a following, I, I probably could get eight to ten dollars for that shirt. Um, I love New York two X. This is doesn't look like to be a two X, but eh, maybe dollar um, ninety nine. Again, an eight eight dollar eight dollar t shirt. This was a dollar ninety nine, and uh, raise the 
Jolly Roger, um, Nike, the Nike t-shirt, large. Again, I, I think another $8. So two and eight is not bad. Um, I got a couple things here I want to save to the end. I did pick up, so if you remember in the beginning, I spent $101.16 with the tax. I guess some things are tax, some things are not. I picked up this um, Yankee Candle for $2.99. I mean, Yankee Candles can go for $20, $25. It looks like it was probably... I'm not sure. I don't even know if it, if it... Maybe it was used once a little bit. Because, look, it's still kind of full. It's a warm cashmere Yankee Candle. So, I you know, honestly, I mean, $10, $12. Bucks. So again, not 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 you know you know you're not um, you're not becoming a millionaire, but you still when you, you start adding up all the things that I've showed I showed you, they're at least two x to three x uh, the money. Here I look I did look this up. I'll be honest because I don't really like glass. This is a Yankees. Uh, the graphics are good. There's no scratches. Yankee Budweiser. This was only seventy nine cents. This goes for about ten bucks on eBay. So this would definitely be an eBay item that I will sell. Uh, it double double hit on the graphics. So seventy nine cents in the ten bucks. I'll, I'll, that's that's a good um, that's a good deal. I think so. So let me grab the other bag here before I show you. Uh, oh, here's I got two of these. Now I'm gonna probably bring these to whatnot. Um, these are twin uh, bed sheets. A uh, twin full size sheet set. My, sometimes what happens is at the Salvation Army, a company uh, will donate. You know, uh, you know, even like a Target, they'll donate. Uh, I give them an example, but they'll donate a whole pallet of the uh, the stuff. About Salvation Army. Now, I don't like to be a person that goes in there and buys. For example, like, you know, yeah, financially go in there and you buy them all. You know, that that's sort of not fair to the people. You know, especially with sheet sets. This is my feeling on this. A lot of people sometimes can't afford to, you know, spend $40 on a sheet set. But, you know, you go in there and you buy a sheet set for $8 and, you know, the people that are poor and the opportunities there for, to get, for, oh, wow, that's a good deal for them. And I'm happy for them. You know, um, if I pick up two or three, you know, so I saw there were some leftovers, I guess, thrown in the bin. And they probably had maxed out the locals. No one else was buying the rest. So I just picked up two. I mean, honestly, a sheet set should go for 15, 20 bucks. So, um, you know, again, that's a double. So I, I picked up two of them. If I knew, like, for example, they even if, if they would have had a thousand of them, for example, and, um, you know, may, maybe I would have bought 10, you know, try them out. But I, I don't believe in being the person that goes in there in a situation like that and just wiping them out to, um, you know, profit, and, and you know, uh, you know, there's got to be a balance. I, I, I think, in my opinion. So let me show you this other bag, and then I'll show you some of the things I got excited for towards the end. Um, two ninety nine, uh, Deer Hunter American Tradition T-shirt. I mean, a lot of these, it's amazing that people must like. They don't even look. They don't even look worn. No stains, no, you know, the tag. Again, that's a, that, you know, it's an 8 to $10 item. And um, I w I'm going to be, you guys are going to see me doing whatnot. And um, I'm going to be um, bu buying some clothing bales and boxes. So, uh, now I did step up and I probably overpaid for this. But you live and learn sometimes. That's part of the deal. Uh, this is Under Armour. Now, I'm going to throw this up on uh, Amazon. $7.99. It looks basically brand new, size, let me see, official tag, uh, oh, youth extra large, I didn't even catch that, but youth extra large, great shape, it's a good, it's a good gray camouflage, I'm going to throw it up there for, uh, I'll probably put it up for $17.99, plus like six bucks shipping, and um, if someone offers me 15 I would take 15 for it, so uh, here is a North Face uh, $4.99 uh, men's light sh North Face has a great name. $4.99. I think honestly I can get $15 for that. It's in great shape. It's that thin long sleeve material. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that up on. Uh, so right now half this stuff is eBay and half is uh, gonna be for whatnot. This is kind of funny. And I'll test the waters. Well, this is Fruit of a Loom Large, the Golden Gulls. So they're making fun of the Golden Girls. See that? But gulls, you know, sort of like a Halloween long sleeve sweatshirt. Did you look at that? So I, I just like the graphics. It was five ninety nine. I'm gonna, I'll put it up there probably for 20 bucks. You know, it is a little heavy. So, you know, uh, I'll put it up for 20 bucks. And, and if I make, if I get, I, I won't go below 15, but again, that'll, that's almost a triple right there. Um, this was an item. The only thing I didn't like is called Wonder Woman. I paid five bucks for it. Bendy Figs, Wonder Woman 84. It had comps on eBay of $22 to $25 sold like this. The only problem is mine has a little bit of damage on the car to crack there. So, even, honestly, at $22, $25 new, um, I should be able to get $12, 12 to $15 bucks for this. So, again, a double. A double would be $10. So, that's, that's still pretty good. Now, um, this next item... I'm going to keep for myself. It, it's a... Um, I've been looking for a, a, a nice... Man, jackets, new jackets at the store are expensive. This is an extra large, and it's soft. I love... And I love the color. Oh, it's actually a George. I didn't even know that. But this is a George um, lightweight jacket. It's a little... Now, I have I have three layers on right now. I have this Duluth, and I have a T-shirt underneath. So if I didn't have the Duluth on, it probably would be. But it's a nice zip-up, um, soft, soft shell jacket, and um, perfect for like fall, spring weather, or you know, I, I have the tendency to wear layers. So like today, I wore, I have a T-shirt underneath. I have the Duluth, um, and then I wear my crappy um, um, sweat sweatshirt uh for moving boxes and stuff like that but now this uh, the last two items i was i was excited when i saw this um because it sort of reminded me uh, of um the carhartt like how popular carhartt is right now this is coleman tall look at this brand new with the tag and it's from hills department store which uh, is a long time ago I paid up for this, right? $9.99. Brand new. This is a Coleman Large Tall flannel lined. Nice, nice lining. But here's the kicker, too. $9.99 and pink, pink and blue were 50% off. So I only paid five bucks for this. And honestly, I think this is a $20, $25 item. Uh, it's large, it's tall, Coleman, you know, Coleman camping uh, products. So that I, I think was a uh, just it's a beautiful piece. Um, it's a, it's a nice jacket with two pockets. I, I like uh, uh, I get excited when I find nice clothes even for uh, a, a fair price. So it sort of reminded me along that line of this is a Duluth. I like Duluth. Duluth is expensive. So I I, I paid for like seventeen dollars for this. Uh, I bought this on eBay and brand new. These are usually around thirty thirty five bucks. This and I like the pattern. So I bought two for myself. Oh, here's one more item. Uh, I only paid $1.99 for these. These are some sort of uniform uh, pants. I think they're like nurse pants or, or something. That, you know, they're, they're pull-ups with elastic. For $1.99, I was like, you know what? They're, they're probably worth 8 or 10 bucks. That's all right. For right. I'm not going to lose money. But the final item, I, I, I when I saw, and I did look this up. I'm not, I'm not going to... Um, make sure I've showed you everything else. Let me see real quick. Uh, yeah, that was everything else. Okay, so the final item, which I was excited for, and I, you know, because sometimes Levi's, but yeah, this is Levi Strauss 2XL. Oh, this one, this would, this would, this is bigger than I wear, but look at this. Now again, I have too many layers on, so it is, yeah, it feels a little tight. But, oh, I do have one more thing here. But, hold on. But this is a Levi Strauss 
corduroy jacket. Sort of like a, you know, corduroy jean jacket. Levi Strauss 2X. And it is a, I would say, autumn red color. And um, I paid... So this was the most expensive item I paid for. What did I pay? I just want to make sure I give an accurate. I think it was ten bucks. The price on here it might have fell off. Yeah, I don't see the tag. It was ten dollars. It was nine ninety nine. I remember. So it was nine ninety nine. Just wish I had the. Yeah, nine ninety nine. And it should be forty five dollars. So I did. I did look this up, and I looked up some Levi Strauss corduroy jackets. It's in great shape. It doesn't have a smell to it. It doesn't have a stain. It doesn't have like war. It, it, like this hung in somebody's closet and wasn't worn much. But I think that's the score of the, the night. So ten into basically forty five. Um, even if I, I if I get thirty nine ninety nine or forty, um, that's thirty dollar profit. And that's that's a good score. Now, one more item, which I missed, but the best was that one, is St. Uh, St. John's Bay uh, Medium. Um, $5.99. This should get me 12 to 15 bucks. So there we go. Uh, I spent $101. Quick math. <laughs> that's, my, that's my brain. My wife is giving me the looks from the kitchen, like, what the hell is he losing his mind? Should net me about 300, 350 bucks for all that stuff. So tell me, guys, what do you think? Do you like to sell clothes? Do you sell, uh, if you do, I mean, some people sell on Poshmark, some people sell on, on eBay, some people sell on whatnot. Um, yeah, and I'm going to keep the one item for myself and stuff like that. I didn't even know it was a George. That's, I've never seen that at Walmart. Not that I really buy stuff much at Walmart anymore. Uh, because who wants to pay full price and stuff? So, guys, give me thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you see, I've been putting out two or three videos a week. So we we are uh, we are thrifting. We are, are sourcing. We are buying pallets. Uh, estate sales. No garage sales right now. It's too cold. But um, I did make a video of uh, a new sourcing opportunity at a warehouse where open box and new stuff in. I already I, I bought one thing on that video and sold it within uh I think it was 12 hours. So, all right, give me a thumbs up and comment below. Oh, and subscribe.